Hi, everyone. Welcome to SDC. It's really good to see you. I'm Ryan Kim, and this is my colleague, Matthews. Uh, we are work for the Samsung Enterprise Product Software team. My team focuses on making Taizen product and service for the enterprise business and helping our partner to work with our product more efficiently in the field. Uh, this is our session agenda. Uh, we don't have much time. Let's just skip. Okay, so today I'm here to talk about the Taizen Enterprise Platform. Last year, we have announced that we were preparing to expand the Taizen to the even wider area, including a screen that's larger than personal TV. As you know, Samsung has been leading the smart TV industry with the Taizen for more than a decade. So long, we are at the top of the smart TV area. Yeah, 300, 300 million TVs, amazing numbers, isn't it? Yeah, more than people are interacting with Taizen-based uh, device than ever before. We spend more screen time with the application that are built on the Taizen. And this all become possible thanks to our partner and developer who contribute to the Taizen ecosystem like you. Thank you. Now we continue to enhance our platform and cover the broader area of platform for enterprise product and business. We interact with the various kinds of enterprise display in our daily life, like smart signage you can see at the every restaurant and store. Not only the signage, but we can meet more enterprise display in daily life, such as Flip, our attractive and interactive display you can meet at the school classroom or office meeting room, and huge and bright LED display on the shopping mall wall and display on the wall. And the hospitality display you can meet at your hotel room and resort. Today, Mateus and I are here to share you how can you work with this Taizen Enterprise product. Before jumping into the Taizen Enterprise development, we need to think about the business itself. We are not working alone in real life. We have to manage multiple devices and solutions that are installed on the distributed locations. Yes, it is it's very hard to manage. Sometimes it's disaster. So we provide Taizen Business Manager. It's our cloud solution for the B2B player to manage their device and solution by remote. Now, what can you do with this Taizen Business Manager? You can organize and manage multiple devices in one place and create, create and deploy the custom apps only for your business purpose. And with the zero touch configuration, you can apply the predefined profile to the multiple distributed target device and device group. Also, you can easily set up for the content management system to the device. Finally, Taizen Business Manager provides you a solution to connect your device to your own UEM system. Let's see how this service works with our enterprise display. Uh, this is the, our Taizen Business Manager portal. Can you see? my PC mirroring. OK, good. This is our Taizen Enterprise Business Portal, the entry pages. Uh, you can see that it, there you can find the most uh, helpful file from here. Uh, in detail, destruction is described in here. Uh, our site basically using the, the single sign-on account, which most of you already are using for the Samsung developer site and seller office to submit your apps. So after you log in, log sign up and sign in, you can see 
chapter 2. It is the older site that you have to manage. I'm having 5.6. You can select one of them. In the device element tab, you can see the holder device you are managing in that site. Uh, uh, I'm too many devices, so to, for today, I have uh, prepared the SDC. Uh, you can easily search and find your device by such a function. So uh, next to me, there is a signage service or device that I want to show you today. So I, you can add your device by manually one by one before without the unboxing the device. You can add your device in here, device name, and you can define, you can assign a device name and enter a serial number. Then you can good to go to add your device. I'm here to add our device to for our demo in here. And after to add your device, you can make your profile. So I have prepared for the profile for today, today's demo. As you see, most of the features that our Samsung Synergy provide you already defined in here. The part power on and off, and the display orientation, and many solutions, how to restart up and how to manage it. And the device name and pin code and everyone lose inside me is forgot to change. Okay. Uh, previously, I have, we have uh, added a new device we can assign the profile that we have uh, created uh, in the profile and assign that profile we have uh, pro prepared for today. Then, as you see, our device is added or uh, profile is waiting for download. Waiting for download that is TV is waiting for the waiting, download the profile from the server. So. From now on, uh, the setting environment from the TV and Pora is finished. So let's go back to the, our real device. Assume that it's the box. Let's see how the Synergy product works. And go to the menu, we provide the zero touch configuration at the system tab. With the zero touch configuration, will help you to skip unnecessary environment. Connect to the internet environment, and then get the terms and condition from your server. If you agree with that, then after that, all those predefined settings will be downloaded through the internet. So everything is ready. So you don't need to configure any more manual operation. It works designed in the TBM portal. Can you see there is some comparison video? Yeah. Uh, on the screen, you can see there's some previous out of box experience. Uh, previously, we have there's 10 or 12 steps to initialize to set up the signage on the real field. So with the zero touch configuration, you can save many times and resources without the visiting the real engineer to visit the target installation. Zero touch configuration, you can save much time and resources. With this saved time and resource, you can focus on more meaningful work like creating Taizen apps. Mateus? Thank you, Ryan. Uh, all right, so uh, welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Mateus, uh, and I'm a technical consultant at Samsung Research Poland. And today, I'd like to show you how in a few steps you can create uh, and deploy your custom app on Samsung Smart Signage device. So if you are familiar with Tizen environment, you would know that app developed on our system 
is based on HTML5 standard. With several powerful APIs and extended features, we can enhance our solution to meet each and every partner's specific requirements. For instance, with TEP API, I can control the screen or manipulate the settings. I can even build a synchronized playback or simulate a video wall. With extended features, I can create an interactive solution, integrate peripheral devices, or use WebAssembly to append C++ modules to my project. As a developer working on Tizen, I need to consider where my app is hosted. Seller Office and TBM Portal solves that problem instantly. As Ryan mentioned earlier, uh, TBM Portal also offers an easy deploy, uh, de deployment and device setup. Okay, so now I know that with Tizen, I have plenty of possibilities to explore. So where do I start? The first recommended step is to familiarize yourself with the documentation. Starting this year, smart signage documentation is open to the public and available on developersamsung.com. You can find the quick start guide, device specification, and the samples on the website. Other than that, there is a section about our official SDK, Tizen Studio in the documentation. If you are more used uh, to using another IDE, you can get Visual Studio Code extension for Tizen. All right, so maybe now let's switch to live demo. So moving from words to action, uh, let's now build uh, a sample application. So on my laptop, I have already installed Tizen Studio and created Samsung certificate. To build a basic project, I need to go to File, New, Tizen Project, select, let's say, template, then select profile, in this case it will be TV Samsung, web application, uh, let's go with basic project, and specify the project name. Uh, all right, SDK will instantly build a structure with all required files for our project. Due to time constraints, let's reuse an already existing project and build our package. Yeah, so once it's done, we can install the app on our development device in order to see how it works and, of course, debug if needed. So let's imagine our app development phase is done, so now we can proceed with Seller Office. The portal you might know from developing features uh, for consumer TVs. Uh, after logging in, let's go to the application tab. Oops. Yeah, so as you can see, my applications are already here, uh, ready to be installed. Uh, which means I can deploy it using the TBM portal. Uh, Ryan, can you help me with deploying our app on Samsung Smart Signage device? Sure, I will. Thank you. Thank you. So going back to my organization. Go back to our TBM portal, and uh, effectively you can add it from the profile from the beginning. And already this device is inloaded to our TBM portal. We can show you. You can control it from the device control menu and find our device and send the command as your startup solution because I and Mateus are the same group ID so we can share in the apps that he submitted to the seller of this. In here, the many apps that Matthias has prepared for me. So then we can select one of them for the demo app. I will select and send the command. That command is queued in the cloud and the device is connected. Then as you see, device is showing our signage app. 
nice burger app. I'm hungry, so I need some burger. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Matthews. So far, we have shown you to how to add and control your device with a TBM Pro and make a custom app and deploy it through the Taizen Business Manager Pro and Zero Touch configuration. We are not stopping here. We will provide you another way to manage our Taizen device. Please welcome my other colleague, Juno Lee. Jun? Let's talk, uh, talk about UEM. Uh, UEM stands for Unified Endpoint Management. On Wikipedia, it says that uh, UEM is a class of software tools that provide a single management interface for mobile, fish, and other devices. Uh, by UEM, an organization's IT administrator can manage and configure its various devices easily and rapidly to align its IT policy to their business. Now, Taizen B2B uh, devices also can be integrated to our customers' UEM environment by the UEM client framework. This is the architectural diagram of the UEM client framework. This framework is composed of three layers, a service layer, a client layer, and a handler layer. The service layer provides the UX. It delivers the user's command to the devices and returns the result to the user. And the client layer gets the command from the service layer and find an appropriate handler and forward the command to the handler and return the result to the service layer. In handler layer, there are different types of handlers that uh, provide various features like power on and off or uh, Bluetooth lock or USB lock or network lock and so on. Uh, if a customer needs a new feature, uh, then a brand new handler can be uh, developed and deployed into the de user's device uh, without uh, any change of other parts. Uh, and by default, some uh, basic commands like uh, uh, changing a uh, device name are provided by the Taizen uh, business manager and uh, along with the related handler. Uh, in the client layer, the UEM client app contains plugin uh, that uh, handles the communication with the UEM service. Uh, and other parts of each operation is provided by the UEM client framework. Uh, this plugin can be developed in cooperation with other UEM service partners. Uh, UEM service partners plugin is activated by the Taizen business manager's zero touch configuration and the UEM client framework. Uh, uh, are you, uh, uh, yeah, so, <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, UEM client framework. And uh, this plugin uh, is uh, activated, uh, uh, sorry, uh, this plugin is activated by the uh, Taizen Business uh, Manager's Zero Touch configuration and the UEM client framework. 
And uh, based on the setting in the Taijian business managers, the UN client framework loads on appropriate plugin, uh, appropriate plugin. And a user can set up the UEM client in the Taijian business portals, Taijian business managers portal website. Uh, so, so when uh, creating a device profile, uh, user uh, set, uh, select uh, to activate the UEM. User select UEM in the MDM field and putting in the UEM services uh, bootstrap URL and its plugin type as a string. And then assign this profile to the user's device. Now this device is configured as the UEM client for the UEM service. Uh, this plugin is a Tizen OS based ELF dynamic shared library and for each operation with the UEM client app, uh, this plugin should provide some API implementations for the uh, UEM client app. So in order to provide an improved UEM environment to our customer, uh, we want to collaborate with many UEM service partners to develop these plugins. Uh, thanks. Back to Ryan. You know, well, it looks something in it. I believe that that means it can provide you and us new opportunity to develop and collaborate. I hope to see the real solution and service based on the UEM framework and next SDC. And last, we another good news. The Taijian licensing is finally ready. I am happy to introduce Charles Rim. Charles? I am Charles Lim. Uh, I am product manager of Tizen licensing program. Uh, I hope you to realize Tizen is everywhere from this session. Yeah. If you have been following the tech news about Samsung or Samsung product, then uh, Samsung TV has been using the Tizen OS. Since 2015, Tizen OS has been providing a lot of uh, useful and uh, uh, popular features to Samsung's customers. Then we started to think about how to make the, those nice features to more people. So we announced to open Tizen OS in uh, 2019 SDC here. Okay. Uh, now, I'd love to show how to how we have been establishing the answer uh, to how to make. Uh, the nice feature available more people. So we decided to open Tizen in SDC, as I told you. And we could, luckily, we could find very important uh, partners uh, from the sev in several areas, uh, such as associate chip vendors and board makers and uh, TV brand and content partner as well. And we developed reference TV together to, uh, for, to other um, manufacturers to, in order for them to make uh, uh, their own Tizen product with minimum effort. Finally, we, in the end, we could uh, launch our Tizen TV in uh, September. You can check them, check them out in our booth in there 
Tyson everywhere boost in there. You can see uh, the TBs in there. In September, as I told you, in September, we have launched the first product in Australia. And you would be able to see the other TVs in UK and uh, Turkey as well. In the near future, you can see that. And now, as you can see, uh, we are more focused on the European area, but we are going to expand that to other con uh, countries and other continents as well. Then, I'd love to introduce the solutions which we have now and uh, will be available very soon. So 2022,000 USD TV is available solution which you can choose for your earliest launch. And two, Two more solutions is being prepared, so for UHD TV and Full HD TV. This is uh, being de developed now. I think you uh, Full HD TV solution uh, can provide, you know, the uh, the user to uh, to buy at an affordable price. I believe. This solution can provide uh, you a more option for your own business. One more thing to tell you is uh, the identical version of Tizen OS of Samsung newest uh, product will be used for our solutions. So next year, then Samsung's UX, Samsung's OS, and the uh, those solutions. Uh, OS will be the same. Please join our ecosystem and uh, build a success story together. If you have any interest and if you have any question, please contact uh, the Don't miss there. our SDC 2022 mega session and special raffle event at 4.30 in the keynote room. Yeah, yeah, that's all. That's what I want to say. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, if you have any further detailed question, the, we prefer the Tizen Everywhere booth in there. So please visit and we will give more detailed answer then. Okay, thank you.